Hi, I'm inside of Address2 and I'm excited to show you our pipeline feature that is available to all users inside of your CRM. First, what you're looking at here is your pipeline dashboard. That is accessible by clicking on from your dashboard or anywhere into Address2 by clicking on the pipeline toolbar up here at the top. To briefly go over a few of the features that are available to you in pipelines, you'll see here in my pipeline dashboard I have a pipeline report that I have a total of $10,000 in my pipeline with a forecasted index based on my probability of close of $7,000. You'll also see many of the deals that I have in my pipeline here. I'm also able to control or search the pipeline based on what users have what deals, maybe what deal is coming up or, or when it's ending, a certain date range, etc. and I can apply that filter. If I want to look at a particular pipeline, I can click on the pipeline or a particular deal, I can click on the deal and this will take me directly to the pipeline deal for Carson Daly, my contact at Kroger Corporate Indiana where I can see the actual description of the opportunity, total dollar value, probability of close, and then my expected close date, as well as any history and tasks that are associated with this, this particular and individual deal for Kroger Corporate Indiana. Now, to get to be able to set up a pipeline, I'm going to go over to an account. So let's just use Stacy Smith as an example. She calls me from ScanDisk corporate account and says she needs a new address to account and she wants us to set everything up for her and I've quoted her at a price of $2,500 for that. So that's a deal in my world. For me, I'm going to go in and create a new pipeline opportunity by clicking on in my account view or my account card here, scrolling down to pipelines and clicking on Stacy's information here. Now the first screen that's going to pop up is going to ask me for what I want to call it. So I'm going to call it the setup account. Hit continue and it's going to take me to my pipeline opportunity or the individual pipeline, you know, the deal that I have going on where I'm going to type in my dollar value of $2,500. I think that there's a 90% chance that I'm going to close this and that I'm going to close it on the end of the month. So next week I'm going to be able to close that. In here I can see that it's with Scandisk Corporate. Stacy Smith is my contact. I can add any history that I want by just clicking the plus button and saying, you know, said she's ready to buy. I can also add any follow-up tasks, etc. that I need to do. And then if there's no real history or anything yet, I can also add just a straight task that will appear on my task dashboard associated with ScanDisk and that particular pipeline. And then again, I can go right back to my pipeline uh, dashboard where I can see now I should have three deals in my pipeline. Textbook transcription for Kroger Corporate, an A2 subscription for uh, Resource Water, and a set up an account deal for ScanDisk Corporate Account. In here, you'll see that my total dollars have increased to twelve hundred five or twelve thousand five hundred, and my forecasted index, again based off of my probability of close, is I should have nine thousand two hundred fifty dollars in my pipeline. That's a basic overview. Now, to briefly touch on a couple other options you have available to yourself in your pipeline feature. <laughs> So I want to add maybe the three sub, uh, subscription levels that we have here at Address2. Basic for $9.95, Professional for $34.95, and then our Campaign Manager Edition starting at $49.95. So I want to add that to these deals so that I can even draw further down into the data of these each individual accounts. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to go to my Admin Panel here at the top of my page, and it's going to take me to Administrative Settings, where I'm going to click on Custom Types, and I'm going to add a new custom type associated with pipeline. So I'm going to call this my O uh, subscription level. I'm going to make it a drop down, but here's the key is I need to make sure that I associate it with pipeline. Hit go and it's going to ask me for what I want. So I'm going to put basic pro Hit my plus button one more time and hit campaign. And don't forget to hit save. That's a mistake I do often make. So now if I go back over to my pipeline feature, now I have a cool little pie chart that's going to pop up. So let me show you what that means. So if I go over here and say that this particular pipeline, and this is a, a an example I have here, but this is a $5,000, and I click on subscription level, it's a $5,000 campaign account. Now if I go back to my pipeline, 
you'll see the chart has 100% is campaign level. Now I can just go in and update these very quickly for you. I think campaign was the last one we used, so I'm going to click on subscription level. Oh, sorry. I'm going to choose basic for this one. You should see in here, I have two now. Yep, 50-50. And then I'm going to add my third. And let's make this the pro. So now I've made that particular deal my pro. So now you should see an equal pie of 30, 30, 33 and a third percent. Now, I can, I, I can add quite a few different uh, customized features into my pipeline. So let's just add a status, if you will, so I can know, hey, where am I at with these particular accounts? So I'm going to go in here and say custom type. Again, add new custom type, and I'm going to call this status. Again, a drop down associated with pipelines. So I would say in the works. For me, that means I've talked to him about it. Sent quote. Set a fifth completed. Now, if I go over to pipelines here, I can change statuses so I can say, Hey, this corporate, corporate Kroger deal is completed. Now, if I go to pipelines or my pipeline dashboard, I see my subscription level, and then I can click on status, and I see that 100% of one pipeline is completed. And let's just let's just go through and, and fix those so you can see how this kind of grows and really helps you take a better view of opportunities that you have in your pipeline. So we'll say received signed quote. Now if I click on status, it should be two and two, 50-50. And let's just do one more for fun. I will say this one is in the works. Hit pipeline one more time just to give you guys a, a and gals a fresh view. So now I hit status here and I can see that here's the different uh, subscription levels that these folks are interested in buying from address to and here's the status of each one of these deals on my pipeline where I can see you know one of them has had a signed quote one has had uh, completed and one is in the works so that is a quick view of the new and exciting pipeline feature inside of your address to CRM